These are times Ronaldo humiliated his opponents. And first up, the time he destroyed someone so bad, their career got turned into memes. See, Ronaldo and Juventus suffered a devastating Champions League loss, where after scoring, Diego Simeone decided the right move was taunting Ronaldo. And to make the situation even worse, Diego said, I'll sell watermelon on the streets of Madrid if Juve pull a comeback today. So during that next matchup, things turned personal. And Ronaldo wasn't only on a mission to get revenge, it was time to humiliate. Ronaldo went off with a hat trick, single-handedly won Juventus the game, and he celebrated his round-winning goal with the exact same taunt as Diego. Ronaldo's humiliation literally got dude's ass turned into memes, and not only that, dude even got fined 22 grand. But humiliating a manager? Uh, players have done that. How about humiliating one of football's greatest ever? That's something only Ronaldo can do. In 2012, Ronaldo just had to let Barca fans know who daddy was. I ain't taking anything away from Messi, he just won El Clasico. And while having his record breaking season, he had one more goal than Ronaldo. But Barca fans started feeling like CR7 slipped from the top of the GOAT debate. And this let Ronaldo know, it wasn't just the perfect time to humiliate, it was time to go down in history. During his next matchup against Granada, Ronaldo came out on fire. And he scored not one, not two, not three, not four, but five goals, including an eight minute hat trick and carried Real Madrid to a 9-1 victory. Jesus, you gotta feel bad for Granada because they didn't deserve that level of ass whooping. But hey, at least they got over it because one legend got humiliated by Ronaldo so bad, they're still beefing almost 10 years later. One game was about to decide two countries fate. The winner was heading to the World Cup. So Ronaldo knew if he didn't humiliate, he'd get humiliated. And there was one man in his way. Throughout the first half, both clubs were at each other's necks. But nobody was more frustrated than Ronaldo. With plenty of opportunities to score, he just couldn't give his club an edge until the 49th minute. Oh, what a beautiful ball. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo with a chance maybe to seal it. And he has taken it. That was crazy. But even though CR7 fans think he's the second coming of Jesus Christ, the game wasn't over, and Zlatan wasn't going down without a fight. Beyond him, but in! Ibrahimovic has finally arrived! And there is a glimmer of hope for Sweden! More than two more will do it tonight. It's Ibrahimovic! He's done it! Right then and there, we witness history. Because for the first time ever, Ronaldo is being humiliated. But Ronaldo secured a hat trick, carried his country to victory, and to this day, Zlatan's still not over. Whenever Zlatan gets an opportunity to throw a jab, over nine years later, he's still reminding the world that Ronaldo's living in his head rent free. And speaking of heads, let's talk about the time Ronaldo humiliated someone so bad, it literally made him think their hair grew bad. We're talking about Champions League, Juventus versus Real Madrid. And just three minutes in, Ronaldo wasted no time. But hold up, job wasn't finished because Ronaldo didn't just want to win. He wanted to humiliate this club so bad, it went down in history. See, the goal was being defended by one of football's most legendary goalkeepers, Gianluigi Buffon. So Ronaldo had to whip something special out of his bag of tricks. And in the 62nd minute, things were getting hectic until and then Ronaldo! Ronaldo pulled off the greatest goal in Champions League history. Just look at Buffon, man. Stunned in place. The Juventus crowd literally cheering for Ronaldo, who's on the opposing team. And Zidane, checking to see if his hair grew back? After all that humiliation, I'm surprised Juventus let Ronaldo come to their club. But at least he didn't do Juventus as dirty as the time he humiliated someone so bad, it turned an opposing club's own fans into his. See, there's always been one stadium that gave Ronaldo nightmares. Here during Ronaldo's early days, he was booed every single time he touched the ball. So he always came in with a chip on his shoulder, but time and time again, he failed. Until one chilly night, Ronaldo pulled up with Real Madrid for a heated matchup against Liverpool. And he wasn't just determined to end his dry spell, it was time to humiliate. No look passes, breaking defenders ankles. As the boos got louder, Ronaldo went harder. And in the 23rd minute, Minute, Ronaldo finally accomplished the near impossible. He scored his first Anfield goal, led Real Madrid to victory. Then in the final minutes when Ronaldo was being substituted, fans not only stopped the booing, they literally applauded and chanted his name. But listen, absolutely nobody's safe from Ronaldo's public humiliation. And in 2016, all it took was asking Ronaldo a stupid question to not only get 
humiliated, but to literally get fired during Euro 2016, Ronaldo was feeling intense pressure, because for two games straight, he was scoreless, and he blamed himself for Portugal now facing elimination. So ahead of their Group F clash against Hungary, Ronaldo decided to stroll through Lyon, bond with his team, and form a game plan. But that's when a reporter tried to ruin his move. And that day, Ronaldo wasn't in the mood to deal with any degenerate clout chasers. So when he saw this ugly ass dude walk up and he recognized him, Ronaldo decided to humiliate. But listen, that mic in the water might have been a good luck charm. Because the next day, Ronaldo went off and scored two goals. So they hired divers to jump in the lake, find the mic, and auction it off with all the proceeds going to children with disabilities. Damn. Even when Ronaldo humiliates, he's saving people. Well, there was that one time he humiliated a dude so bad, the dude almost never walked again. In 2003, Ronaldo was just 18. You know, the new kid on the block. And there was one player who always gave Ronaldo a run for his money. Ronaldo vs Cole matchups became one of the early 2000 Premier League's highest profile battles. Cause even though Ronaldo had astronomical hype and potential, Ashley Cole was one of the only defenders who could contain Ronaldo. See, Cole built a reputation for himself as one of the world's best fullbacks. But even the toughest defender of Ronaldo's career had to get humiliated. So with all eyes on their duel and just 4 minutes in, Ronaldo put Cole in his place. Just, just look at young Ronaldo, man. Teach his opponents extra workouts, introduce them to yoga poses. How can you hate on this man? But for real, Ronaldo ain't scared to humiliate. Even if it costs companies billions. It was Euro 2020, and Ronaldo was fed up. As he came out ahead of his matchup against Hungary, he was obligated to show up and answer questions at a press conference. But right when he sat down, Ronaldo shamed Coca-Cola in front of the entire world. Um. And that one word caused a financial crisis. Before the press conference, Coke shares were worth $56. But by the end of the interview, they'd fall into $55. That $1 drop-off literally meant four seconds of Ronaldo's time lost Coca-Cola $4 billion. And you'd think Ronaldo humiliating people would have stopped there. Wrong. Just four days later, Ronaldo knew he became the world's most trending topic. So during his matchup against Germany, knowing all eyes were on him, he couldn't let the spotlight go to waste. He decided to humiliate a player so bad, even football all legends got butt hurt. Just look at that shit. Dude really acted like he was gonna catch it. Then no look kick before Antonio even knew what happened. I I'd never seen anything like that. And neither did social media. Just, just look at all these tweets, man. Now, even though I thought it was crazy, a German football legend saw it and he was disgusted. After the game, he came out the closet and said, I think it's nonsense. Of course, it's amazing and we know he can do that. I think, in a way, he's belittling the opposition. He looks a fool now. Yo, Hammond, shut your bitch ass up, man. We all know you're just mad you can't do that. And at this point, I'm not sure what can stop Ronaldo from humiliating everybody. Not legends, not money, shit, not even a worldwide pandemic. See, in 2020, the defending champs were an abomination. Already drawing five games, going up against Genoa, Juve needed CR7 to step up to the fucking plate. And typically, Ronaldo doesn't need any extra motivation. But that, and some trash talk, made Ronaldo pull the trigger. It was time to humiliate. And in the 89th minute, with the score tied up, Ronaldo lined up for a penalty kick, and uh, their goalkeeper decided to talk some shit. Yeah, uh, he should've just kept quiet. See, this ain't Ronaldo's first rodeo. He's humiliated players on the field, off the field. He even humiliates players in the street. And one humiliating moment we just gotta talk about is between Ronaldo and LeBron James. For nearly two decades, these guys have been in a heated battle that nobody's talking about. And it all started when LeBron copped his first car. A fully customized Hummer H2 looking like something only a rapper would drive. LeBron was just about to be drafted into the NBA. And being so young, this purchase just completely broke the news to the point where other countries were seeing it. And well, it inspired a young Ronaldo, who that same year also made it to the big league. So Ronaldo decided, hey, I'm gonna be a superstar too. I think it's time I caught my first car. And he splurged on an Audi S3. You know, nothing too crazy. And in all honesty, LeBron had him beat. But that was just the beginning of the world's most vicious car war. Rolls Royces, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, G-Wagons, Porsches. For nearly 20 years, as the two level up their game in sports, they always elevated their garages. And the competition got fierce. But as they both became icons, LeBron just couldn't keep up with Ronaldo. Yeah, in 2020, LeBron copped some of his most expensive cars ever. A million
million dollar Mercedes, a million dollar Porsche, shit. He even brought his teenagers back to life and copped a brand new Hummer. But see, LeBron's competing with a psychopath. To this day, Ronaldo's made it a tradition to cop at least one new car every single month. And there's a reason he gets invited to exclusive events. Our boy Ronaldo's got million dollar Ferraris, million dollar McLarens. He's been there, done that with the million dollar car. Ronaldo's on another level, man. And that's exactly why he's got five million dollar and twelve million dollar Bugatti. It takes his car buying addiction to nearly thirty million dollars in total. So whether it's football or basketball, on the field or on the road, ain't nobody fucking with Ronaldo, man. Anybody can get humiliated. But see, secret competitions ain't the only thing Ronaldo's been spending millions on. Four million dollar jewelry, twelve million dollar yacht, thirty-two million dollar jets. Ronaldo's even got a forty million dollar purchase where the only people in the entire world who have one are him and Donald Trump and I know you want to hear more about that so click this video right here